fucking show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Damn good show. Have you ever been going to a drive through and somebody cuts you off? Yeah. Happens, happens often. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's no, um, like on the street, you can't do that. It's like illegal. You I, can't cut them. Well, you can do it, but. Yeah. But in the parking lot, I'm trying to get my food, brings out the worst in people. People that do that, they ain't got no moral compass. I've never did it to nobody. No. But these two black not, women meet up. It's, it's caught on true. video. Yeah, these two black women are caught on video arguing about hey. who cut off who Same in thing the drive through like when people uh, cut you off to get a parking spot. Same thing. Yeah. you just asking for it. Yeah. Check out this video. This is. You cut me off. Okay. You cut, cut you me off. off. This is a drive through I beat you. Right. And I'm not cut right. you right. off. I beat you. I was in the I line right you. here. You wasn't in the line. Oh. You yes, I was. I was in the and line. I you you and I swooped you off. And I swooped you off. No, you the idiot. No, I'm, you are. Watch who gonna get that food first. Watch Girl. who gonna get that food okay. first. Okay, okay. You okay. need it anyway. Oh, yeah. So you what? need it. Okay. okay. I told you. Okay. okay. I told you. Okay. You look like you need something. She get out in front of her. She tried to cut off. You gotta get in line like everybody else. Yeah, now you know what, man? We got stereotypes for black women for a reason. That one woman that was obviously older, older than the younger chick. Yeah, she was acting like she was a teenager. Yeah, she's acting like she, I think she might be in her late 30s, maybe early 40s, somewhere around there. Not sure, but uh, she's too old to be acting like that. She's supposed to be a role model for the other black woman, the much younger black woman. But now nah, she's learning from her. That's why I don't date black women. Full coverage. <clears throat> I learned my first lesson in my first marriage. Never, nope. Came up. Look, look. First black woman I dated, I said, you know what? What's that saying? Fool me. Fool me once. Shame on me. Right? Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me. You can't fool me again. <laughs> That's the George Bush version. So I ain't, I ain't date black women. Then I saw that one black woman you married. She used to whoop your ass every day. Started to notice, notice a trend. Why you always got to bring that up? What? That black woman whooping your ass? You act like I was supposed to like. Oh man, you were stupid. I was stupid. That's why we were Latinas, man. We learned the lesson. That's why we date outside our race. Much more. I would have ended up marrying a black woman if she was nice. If she didn't whoop my ass. They all nice when you first meet them. <laughs> then when you get married, they tend to something else. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, where's that black bitch I married? <laughs> She didn't start beating your ass until y'all got married. <laughs> yeah. Well, black women change when you get married, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget that day I was living in San Diego. She called the cops on me. She was like, yeah, I'm getting you thrown out. I was like, but I ain't hit you. Don't matter. I'm a woman. You a guy. Watch this. Ah, ah, stop screaming. Ah, ah, ah. Doing all that right. The next door, day, hey, what's going on? What's going on in there? <laughs> There's another nigga. What's going on? I'm calling the cops, nigga. <laughs> Next door day, will call the cops. Right. Looking back on it, she's probably banging that nigga or something. Probably, yeah. But. Wouldn't doubt it, man. You know the cops niggas. come. You know how niggas are. Yeah. <laughs> the cops come, right? Yeah. Cops come. Cops already knew who I was. I was a United States Marine. Because <laughs> we, we had plenty of calls come to my house. We was always arguing. It was all her. I'm a nice guy. I'll be looking for trouble, right? Cops can't say, man, she's claiming you hit her. 
I said, look, man, I'm a United States Marine, six foot two, 195 pounds of rippling muscle. If I hit that bitch, there's going to be a mark. I said, look at me. Bitch been whooping my ass in this house. <laughs> I was like, I show him all my defensive wounds all, all over my arms. He's like, hold on. I'm going to go interview her. I'm gonna, I haven't completed my investigation yet. Cop went down there. Uh, he had a white uh, uh, police officer with him. Mm -hmm. I sit him down and talk. She started going crazy down there, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was in the window like, what's that, uh, what's that uh, nightmare movie? You're standing in wonder? Psycho? Yeah, I was standing in the window like Psycho just <laughs> looking down there. <laughs> Standing with him, the window just looking at him, right? Because if they try to arrest me, I'm gonna take off <laughs> down them damn steps. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off running. I ain't going to jail. I ain't do nothing. <laughs> White people get that joke. I didn't do nothing. But anyway, cop, we met eyes about a good 60 feet, 70, 80, maybe 100, 100 feet, about 20 yards. Locked eyes with him, right? And, uh, I could just, we was talking through a telepathy. He looked at me. You know what he told me? This black bitch going to jail. <laughs> Took her ass to jail. Took her to jail. I said, whew. Then I got a good night rest. Let woke you, up. Let your wounds heal. Yeah, woke up, rubbed one out, went to work. <laughs> <laughs> it was a damn good show. Oh. Damn good show. Damn good show. <laughs> Yeah, today's the day. Today we start our seven times inches. From March 1st through the 8th, you get seven times the inches. I say seven times the inches. It's seven <laughs> times the inches. You spend $50, there's 350 inches. That's all kinds of inches. Go to officialhogstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, get you automatically into the win. Yeah. yeah.